So as promised, I'm going to do Finn's hat tour today. He has around 50 something hats. I think there's like eight in the mail right now. Um, I'm not going to post, I'm sorry, I'm not going to actually put like three or four of them on this little thing back here where I hold his hats just because I haven't posted them yet and I don't want to like ruin the surprises. But there are like, I think 48 hats in total on this little rack that I just bought for him. Uh, and so we'll go through like the most viral hats, you know, my absolute favorites. And then um, in the comment section below, I'll tag, you know, the Etsy shops where I actually got them from, just in case you guys want to purchase them for your animals. So most of my shots are actually done in my room, um, especially during the winter months, you know, when it's crappy outside and it's cold and Merton's quail, like Finn, do not like the cold at all because they're from like the Southern hemisphere. And so I try and, you know, keep them in my room during the cold months and I make the background look as pretty as possible. So I love house plants, I love orchids and my terrariums when I build them. So, you know, the whole background is kind of, you know, really pretty and stuff like that when, when I'm shooting uh, videos and doing these like new hat reveals and stuff. And then Finn gets a uh, window time as well. So, so uh, Finn gets window time uh, a few more times a day than the other three quail. <laughs> it's probably favoritism, but uh, He's just, he's easy to take out and, and just leave there, honestly. Sometimes I'll even forget he's there just because he doesn't make a sound. You know, he's not flighty, he doesn't fly into the ceiling like the other three do, or, you know, run around. He's just pretty calm and chill and really allows me to just do whatever I have to do while he's just hanging out there. Uh, he allows me to put hats on him. He allows me to, you know, pick him up and put him on my chest. He's definitely unique in the sense of, you know, his personality and his tameness. Um, and compared to how other Merns quail usually are. So I, I love that about him. So this is Finn's spot right here. If he's not here, he's in between the books and the terrarium and this like makeshift nest that I built for him or he's on my pillow. Um, and then he lets me know when he wants to go back in with the other three quail, he'll start making sounds or like sing his little cute song. And then I put him back in, but he's up here for, you know, a few hours a day, just hanging out, looking out the window, looking at the birds and stuff outside. So. He's really just, he's such a chill bird. Okay, so now we'll get back to the scheduled hat tour. You excited? Hmm? He's excited. <laughs> okay, buddy. As I was filming the video, the um, mailman just dropped off hats. And I'm expecting, I think there's like two or three more today that I'm expecting, and then uh, three or four more tomorrow. Okay, so I got one package. I think there's two or three in here. Um, and I remember these ones are actually custom hats. Uh, that I have made. So I have this woman on Etsy uh, and I'll post her link below. Like any idea I can think of, um, any hat to make, like I wanted the Hogwarts sorting hat. She like nailed it in like maybe a week and a half. And so if I have any ideas for hats, I run it by her. She's like, yes or no, if I can do it or not. And then she just mails them to me for I think 15, 20 bucks. So it's, it's literally perfect. Okay, so I just got these in the mail. Uh, this is from Pinky Smart. This is one of my favorite people that I buy from on Etsy. You can see her um, her shop below, her website. But she custom makes all these hats. Any idea, like I said, I, I just throw at her and she makes it. And so I think there's two or three in here. It might be loud for a second with this paper. So this was the first hat I wanted her to make. Um, actually, I think she sells this on her website or on her Etsy shop. It's a Robin Hood hat and it's so cool. She puts these little um, um, headbands, I guess you would call them, and you can, you know, tighten them depending on what animal you're putting them on, whether it's a guinea pig, ferret, um, or bird. And so, it honestly, it's just an adjustable thing. It works out perfect. So this is awesome. The other one I had her made, I said, I just really wanted like a nature-themed um, hat because the mushroom hat did so well on um, TikTok. I wanted an acorn hat. Look how cute this is. <laughs> And so I think usually I get three centimeters um, for Finn. I think it's like an inch and a half or 1.2 inches and that fits Finn's head perfect. Um, but you might need to, you know, get a bigger or smaller size depending on the animal you're putting it on. And so yeah, I'll be posting this today actually on TikTok. 
And so it says, uh, Bernard, thank you for supporting my small business. I would love to hear how this fits. And so I just, it's like the little things, putting a card. This is the last box you ship them in. It's just like thoughtful stuff like this that I love. I love supporting small shops because it's just, there's so much that goes into it. And I'm definitely happy to support um, small businesses like that. Okay, so Finn's gonna start the hat tour. Isn't that right, buddy? Which one's your favorite? Are you happy about your hat tour? Yeah? Wanna show everyone which one your favorite is? So I'm not gonna do an individual hat tour, I'm just gonna kinda show you and name them, um, you know, along the way, because I feel like that'll take too long and just dragged out. So um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and just go one by one of, you know, where I got them and um, just what they are kind of thing. Okay, so starting with my favorite is like this Peaky Blinder Thomas Shelby kind of hat. Um, and I got that from um, Pinky Smart, the girl who, or the woman who made the hats from today. Actually, most of this, this first throw is from her. Uh, I got a Yankees cap to match me because I love the Yankees. I know there's going to be a lot of hate on that. <laughs> this was the um, sorting hat that I have her made. I wanted to like do it during the, like, the release of the Harry Potter game. That was like last week or the week before. This is such a really cute one. Um, it's like this little spinner hat. It actually works. And that was a big hit on TikTok. Let me see. Put this back. There is this like cute, adorable, just just like a brim hat. Uh, we have from Toy Story, the little aliens. It was a little small, um, but I made it work. Any of the crocheted ones like this, this, they're actually from another seller, um, Norm Normandy Land. Um, I'll link hers uh, in the um, the description below too, just so you guys have that. Um, this one wasn't really my favorite. I actually didn't post this one at all. I don't know who was the seller um, of this one, but there was no straps and it looked crazy on his head and you can't really, he doesn't have ears in the sense of like, you know, like we do, so it didn't fit well at all. Uh, this was a cute reindeer one I posted over Christmas time. And then this was a big, this was like a safari one. It was a little big for him um, and I don't think it came with straps, but I just made like this this metal wire and I poked holes and I made it work as well. Put this one back. This was um, again from the Normandy land. This was a giraffe. <laughs> this was adorable. I love this one. And she puts um, these, just like the other sellers, she puts these um, straps for them so they're adjustable and they actually fit on the head and they're not falling off when you're trying to take a video or picture. This was just some top hat I found um, before I really started researching buyers. Uh, again, I had to drill holes in it. It wasn't my favorite hat at all. And so next we have the Sherlock Holmes hat, which is probably my favorite crocheted hat, or one of them actually. It's so hard to choose sometimes. Um, this one came with straps like this, um, which isn't really my favorite, so I cut them off like I always do. And I just put wire, um, just because it's less distracting, because I feel like, you know, a hot pink or a, a red or something like that is, is just distracting from the video. Um, again, this is from Norm Norm Normandy Land. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, and there's a turkey hat. And I always get some backlash because they're like, oh, it's an animal carcass on top of an animal. But it's just it's just what it is. It's just a turkey hat. So take it for what it is. I also have um, headphones. And I, I did like a Stranger Things post when, you know, Max had the headphones on with Vecna. If you're, you know, into Stranger Things. This was like, um, oh my gosh. This was from the, the seller of all these hats. Uh, and she made this custom. It says quail and it's a little uh, I forgot what the French hat's name is But it starts with a B, but yeah, so that's that's what it was And I actually flipped this camera around. It's a lot easier to do this um, Let's see so This was the one I just posted recently. It's a, a little flower on top of the head um, I, And I love like anything plant fungi, you know nature themes. That's like my favorite kind of hats um, Let's see this was, this was a pumpkin hat, and I tried to like makeshift it. Uh, it didn't really work well, so I, I cut the strings, cut it to make it shorter. It just wasn't, it wasn't the right size, so it didn't work. I didn't post that either. We have these, let's see, this little strawberry hat, which is perfect. 
Um, and there was a, there's a, a few other fruit ones I had to show you guys. This, I would say, was the biggest hit on TikTok and uh, Instagram so far is the mushroom hat. And I absolutely love, love this hat, especially in front of the terrarium with that background. It works out perfectly. This is a Minions little hat um, from a movie I have not seen yet. Don't yell at me. And then we have this Joker hat, which is absolutely perfect. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the video, but his face when he was wearing this hat is absolutely hilarious. And I have no idea how to post it on this actual video, video so just you can check it out on Instagram or TikTok. We have a, a Pikachu hat, another crocheted one. We have this froggy hat, which I feel like was probably one of his first hats. Um, and there was a little uh, bungee like um, headband thing, but I ripped it off to put a glue to another hat. I think this is like when I really first started getting into his hats was after, you know, everyone really loved this frog hat. And this is Daisy's first hat. See, I put this um this metal wire on it because I hated the strings. She wasn't really a big fan of hats, so I don't torture her with hats. It was a one and done deal. Um, I haven't posted this one yet just because it's kind of big. I'm going to see if the seller can like reduce its size for me before I post. And then there's this, this brand new one that I absolutely love. It's a little elephant hat. Um, and it's a little small for him, so the seller's going to actually um, send me a new one. But I, I love the idea of like an animal on top of you know Finn's head or something like that. I actually haven't posted a lot of these, I just realized. This is uh, another mushroom hat. Um, it doesn't have strings either, or uh, you know, attachments, so I'm gonna have to put something on that, but I love this one. This one's awesome. This is by a, um, a third seller. Let's see. We have him, his sombrero, which I posted, I would say, last year, but um, there's been, uh, a new one's being made with a lot more detail, so um, for Cinco de Mayo, I'm actually gonna post that. We have Finn and Quinn's cowboy hats. I think I bought three or four of them. But these are, um, these are two of them. Let's see, this was a bunny hat that I posted for Easter last year. This dude has more uh, items of clothing than I do. This was uh, a really popular one I just posted last week. It's his little mushroom hat. There's all leaves glued on it and stuff. This is from a brand new seller that I haven't actually bought from before, so I loved her work, and I'll definitely buy from her again. Here we have a chef's hat. I'm not going to take off because it's going to like knock other hats down. Um, but I had this one remade um, by a different seller just because I didn't... It was just too big, and it was just a hassle sometimes. So this was when I posted. I'm going to do like a cooking video with Finn. Um, and I'm actually going to do a bird cake for his birthday, and he's going to help me bake it. So that's the idea I had for that one. We have uh, another um, mushroom hat, which was too big. This was the, the Robin Hood one I just bought today. And then we have this. <laughs> these, uh, I love these fruit hats. <laughs> this is an orange, obviously. And then I bought a matching one. Actually, my aunt bought one from a seller. It's um, a lemon, so I was gonna put it on Daisy and, and, uh, and Finn, or Finn and Quinn, and whoever really let me put it on them. Uh, another sombrero. Um, this is the acorn that I'm gonna post today. Um, the lemon, which I love and I haven't used yet. This might be a little controversial, and it's faux fur, so it's fake, but, you know, I don't even bother sometimes because there's, like, trolls on Instagram. But I was going to put this on because it's a cute winter hat for Finn, but I've avoided posting it, so I'm not even going to bother. This is, um, another sombrero. <laughs> it's just, honestly, the head was huge. Actually, this elf hat was just not happening, so... <laughs> Yeah, this I, I didn't post this just because it, it just wouldn't it wouldn't stay on Finn's head. Um, but I keep them just because it's funny to add to the collection. Um, and then I brought, brought another sombrero. These were too big again, so I'm gonna have other ones remade. It's a hassle finding like hats that fit perfectly well um, with Finn and Daisy, so it's been it's been a struggle. This is one that I love the concept of, like a little winter hat. And the back is messy, but you'd never know if I posted it. Just because I tried to um, cut it and bobby pin it so that it fit his head again. Um, but this was hilarious. I have to still post this some, sometime. And then this was, I would say his second hat, Finn's second hat, was um, an Easter Bunny last year. Um, but again, the diameter was just it was too large, so I wasn't really happy with it. Um, 
I'm gonna have a few more made. But if you guys have any hat ideas at all, and you know, just, I mean, I do, I, I'm honestly open for ideas, but I love nature themed ones. You can definitely put it in the comment section and I'll have the um, woman that I buy them from, you know, custom make them and stuff like that. Cause I, I love like new ideas for Finn's hats. I hope you guys enjoyed the hat tour today. It was simple. Um, I try to keep it as short as possible because I hate when like YouTube videos are just dragged out. Um, but I did have a fun surprise that I haven't really released it with Instagram yet or TikTok. So um, I don't know when I'll officially post it. Maybe when it's time, you know, it's closer to the time of, of publishing. But um, my husband and I are actually writing a children's book about Finn um, and, you know, all his hats and all the adventures he goes on. And it's like this cute cartoon. And so... Um, I think we're gonna have it for like children three to six um, Just because our niece and nephew were like that age or like, you know, they'll be at that age soon. So we thought it was a cute idea and so hopefully by like Late spring probably summertime. We're gonna like release the book and you can you can pre-order it or you can buy it on Amazon um, On my TikTok or Instagram. I'll post that link whenever it's available. So I hope you guys enjoyed today um, Hopefully I'll be posting a YouTube video in the next few days um, just introducing Finn, Quinn, Daisy, and Jake, and, you know, the whole shenanigans that go out with them.